So it's April 9th, <clears throat> and I just got done planting all my peas and all my beans just right here. Uh, you got the little mulver, little marble peas, cow peas, uh, garden beans, bush beans, beans, garden beans, garden beans. Garden beans. I got two. I got two yellow, like yellow colored beans. Then the rest are just green, like on the outside. And then for the peas, they, you know, whatever. Peas. All right. Then I got just got done playing my corn as well. Just in this little row right here. That one's just in that little row there, like eight feet for my peas and and beans. And then like four feet. More like four feet to four, four to five feet worth of space for my corn here, and I got sweet corn, butter, and sugar. Seventy-five days to harvest sweet corn, silver queen. That one's eighty-eight days to harvest sweet corn, candy corn. That's eighty-nine days to harvest, and it's April 9th. This is the earliest that I've ever got in my garden. In them. Before this, the earliest I got it in was like end of April, beginning of May. And that was last year. This year, I'm getting in an entire month early. I could have done this last week, but I didn't have my seeds yet or anything. So, yeah. Got that in. Um, I'm going to get peppers in here. I'm going to get all my like squash and zucchini and pumpkins and all like everything. Over there, watermelon, all that over there in that corner. Then all the rest of the space is going to be lettuce and kale and all that good, healthy stuff. And before I do all that other planting, though, I got to get these fish in the ground here. I caught all these fish just last summer. We got a rock bass here. I caught it, but it, it swallowed the hook, so it died. Another rock bass, same thing, swallowed the hook, died. Another rock bass, same thing, swallowed the hook, died. Got a perch here, swallowed the hook, died. And then we got, we got all, the, all the rest of these bags here are filled with uh, bullhead. Caught them, you know, they're eating all kinds of food, so I caught them, got them out of the lake. Killed them, threw them in Ziploc bags, and then froze them. And I probably got about... I I think it's like 50 or 60 bullhead right here and maybe more and then just like then four other fish rock bass rock bass rock bass perch that's all it's this that right, that's how many bags I got with a fish I'm just gonna dig holes about six to six inches to a foot down deep in the dirt throw these in there buried them and hope that the corn grows well and all the other plants that they're buried next to or under grow well too so that's the video and i'm gonna get digging see you